Black Studies was born in the days of high protest. Coming in 1970 was really not an easy task. Black students questioned my integrity, my blackness. They wondered if I was just a token Negro. There were many unanswered questions at that time. Uh, even the faculty had questions about uh, the importance or significance of black studies at that time. I did my first piece of research on bias in testing. I tested uh, black kids versus white kids. Black kids did much better on culturally fair tests than they did on, on uh, uh, conventional tests. My prediction was that African Americans would do much better on the black intelligence test than it would on conventional tests, and white students would do very poorly. That was supported. So I got a lot of publicity on that around the country. That gave me some credibility at that time. I put together ebony and phonics to make ebonics. It was very controversial, but I think it gave a lot of awareness. But many kids, black kids, were coming to school speaking a language different from the other kids, and they were being penalized. And I wanted to bring about an awareness of that, and I think it did, it did help. Here's an example. A black suspect was being interviewed by a white cop in Louisiana for rape. And after a while, the black suspect said, get me a lawyer, dog. Well, the white guy was confused. He didn't know what he was saying. He said, we don't have any lawyer dogs around here. He was calling the guy dog. dog. Yeah, OK. So, so I had to explain a lot of that to, to whites, you know, that blacks had a, some interesting ways of communicating that whites could not understand. Someone asked me one time, I don't know who it was. They said, do you think uh, black studies is gonna be around long? <laughs> I said, yeah, I said, it'll be around as long as we need to. <laughs>